In a way, I'm very sorry to address you like this because I think that what you're doing is very admirable. But I'm here to represent this other group, and I'm also targeted, and this is my story. My name is Sandra Field. I'm an architect, recipient of Who's Who of, America, of Women in America Achievement Award, and have run a successful business for over 28 years. My life and livelihood have been compromised for the last 11 years by being attacked by electromagnetic radiation torture and by organized stalking. I cannot live in my rent-stabilized apartment in New York City as a result of this torture. I'm currently staying in motels and friends' houses in the last year. Thousands of Americans are currently suffering from chemical, electromagnetic, psychological, and physical torture with no government relief or laws. Our servicemen, prisoners, and thousands of unknowing, innocent civilians are currently being lamed, tormented, and tortured as a result of military research, medical research, pharmaceutical research, physiological and psychological studies that have virtually destroyed participants' sanity, physical well-being, reputation, and privacy. Government projects like MKUltra and Co COINTELPRO are rumored to be active today with no update with updated forms of surveillance and torture and technologies. In 2010, Morrison and Furster won the right to proceed with a case against the CIA, Department of Defense, and the U.S. Army for veterans' development of multiple diseases and ailments tied to a secret testing program in which the United States military personnel were deliberately exposed to chemical and biological weapons and other toxin toxins without informed consent. Sleep deprivation, poisoning, and high-frequency doses of continuous microwave pulses are inclined to increase one's chances for mental disorders, autism, arthritis, multiple sclerosis, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. The body's immune system is broken down. Their nervous system and the brain and spinal cord are attacked and maimed. There are no laws to prevent electromagnetic attacks except in Maine. The federal government does not acknowledge these crimes. There is no literature, educational resources, or assistance for victims. I would like to ask this committee to consider an investigation into these unethical violations and a task force be created for educational and to help people who are in trouble of these situations. And I'd be honored to help in this thing. Thank you very much.